Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you are on this beautiful world or whenever you are watching this video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube show. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Tayutu. Yes, you might recognize me from three and a half years ago when we as a family sold literally everything we owned or a house or companies or cars or bikes, motor and clothes and went all into Bitcoin. After going all into Bitcoin, we started traveling the world. Now, three and a half years later, still traveling the world, coming to you guys from Alicante, Spain. In today's video, of course, showing you some amazing Bitcoin charts and explaining to you why I called out these prices yesterday's video about $1.2 million per Bitcoin or 300 k per Bitcoin because some people didn't agree with me and I'm going to explain again why I'm shared these numbers with you guys. But what I'm first going to do is I'm first going to climb up to the top of a mountain because I want Bitcoin to go up. And I believe that if I climb up this mountain today to the top of this mountain, I can help Bitcoin with this last push through 12K. Yes, I'm a believer. So let's see if this works while I share these amazing charts and this amazing climb up to the top of this mountain here in Alicante, Spain. Enjoy the views, enjoy the information, enjoy the complete video, guys. <laughs> Good morning guys. Today I'm going to climb a really cool mountain. I need to be quiet because everybody in the village is still sleeping. I'm doing this hike here in Alicante, near Alicante, Rondon de las Fallas. We are climbing up a mountain of, I think it's like a thousand meters, a little bit more than a thousand meters. I'm very lucky to have a very professional guide that has climbed the Kilimanjaro. It has did all kinds of hike in this area because I would have never found this path and whew, I hope in a few years I will still be as fit as this guy is because he's almost running up this mountain <laughs> no he's doing a really good pace I love it I love hiking and the reason I'm walking on this mountain guys is we need Bitcoin to go up so I'm climbing to the top of a mountain and hopefully Bitcoin will follow later today and we'll climb all the way up to 12 or 13K. And yes, guys, I'm not wearing flip-flops this time. Shoes. 50 something meters, that's El you. 1,300, next time. <laughs> It's actually higher than the neighbors in Scotland. We are getting up a little bit more and more, but the view is already amazing. We are not even at the top. And sorry for the wind. Sound. Breathing, guys. Getting higher and higher. <sighs> Need to train more and more. If I want to climb, climb the Kilimanjaro <laughs> or the Mount Everest, I need to get a little bit thinner. I'm still doing fine, I think. I think we are almost at the top. Oh, beautiful view. Maybe Bitcoin will be passing 12k. We need to go a little bit higher. A little bit higher. We made 
made it all the way up to the top guys i think it's 1100 meters something like this it's beautiful the view is amazing i'm so happy i said yes on the terrace to bobby and his daughter lindsay they told me oh we can do a hike on saturday i was doubting because you know not that fit at the moment but i made it it's beautiful and it get, gets me active again i want to make i want to climb more hills so probably i stay a little bit longer in spain Cover that one, that one, that one, all of those. <laughs> it's beautiful. But let's see if when I come down later today, if Bitcoin is up to 12k. I hope it is. How did I do for the 42 year old? 78. You did very well. <laughs> did I do it? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, you for to keep up. You <laughs> done very, very well. Don't you love the Scottish accent? Freedom! <laughs> <laughs>
I didn't think that could happen. For me, that was impossible. But in the end, it didn't seem impossible because we went to 20K. And now we are hovering around this 12K number. And now people seem to think that it's not possible to do this number times 20 again, or even times 30. I do think it's possible because when Bitcoin did this 25 times in 2017, all the banks, all the financial institutions, all the governments were fighting against Bitcoin. They were making everybody around there afraid for buying Bitcoin. They were telling everybody in the media, it's a scam. Bitcoin is for money laundering. Bitcoin is illegal. So a lot of people didn't buy Bitcoin because of these media outings. Like just now all these people are now wearing face masks all over the world because of this mass media. The mass media is telling us that it is normal, so everybody is doing it. I don't even want to talk about this negative shit, but I want to tell you, now, this year, we have these banks, these medias, these people with us, not against us. The banks are even offering crypto services. They are offering you to buy Bitcoin at their bank account. They are even offering custodial services. All these financial institutions are now seeing Bitcoin as this new store of value, this new safe haven to store all their reserve assets in instead of fiat. So do you really think we can't go times 20, times 25? Now when these banks are telling Bitcoin is okay, the governments are telling Bitcoin is okay, but governments are even mining Bitcoins now with power plants. All these huge companies now that are publicly trading, all these companies now exchanging their reserve assets, their reserve fiat into Bitcoin. Do you think, do you really believe we can't go times 25 because of this? Because now all these people watching all these videos and doubting about Bitcoin because it didn't buy the last time, they will see, oh shit, but now it's legal. Now it's not money laundering. Now the banks are supporting it. Now the governments are supporting it. Okay, then it's safe to buy. So if this bull run, not only the crazy people like me and the crypto fanatics that bought Bitcoin in 2017, but if during this next bull run, also the normal investors, the baby boomers, the generation X that were distrusting Bitcoin, now trusting Bitcoin, are going to buy into Bitcoin as well, I think it's easy for Bitcoin to go inside 20, 25 times. And if we go times 20, 25 times, then we will be around this 300,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. And if all these big companies now are going to exchange reserve fiat assets into Bitcoin, and the bigger companies will go do this, like Amazon, for example, or Microsoft, or any of those, then this million dollar price of Bitcoin isn't that strange. That is why people have been calling this million dollar price per Bitcoin already for years. But let's take a look at a few charts, guys. Bam, the first chart. Because everybody is like, oh, when Bitcoin falls to 11,200, ah, uh, it's going to break down. No, we would still be bullish. Why? If you look at this chart, you can see that since the 1st of August, this is a four hour chart, since the 1st of August, we have only been making higher lows. We didn't make a lower low, we have been making higher lows. So yes, the bears can tell us, ah, oh, now we are going to push the Bitcoin price down. Where is this lower low? We can only see higher lows. And what does happen when we see higher lows? then the biggest chance is that we are going to break up from here. We are going to break up this 12K level again. And we're going to try to break the 12,500 level again and take it up to the 14K level. This is exactly what I've been saying for a couple of weeks now. And I still believe that this is going to be happening. I still believe that we also can go down to 11,200, maybe even a little bit lower than 11,200, but I think we first will visit 14K before we will pull back again to this 10K area. This is my opinion. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a dude traveling the world with his family and believing and living a crypto life for 24 seven already for four years. So yes, there is some experience, but no, I am not a financial advisor. All these higher lows will probably lead to this chart. Bam, check this chart. On this chart, you can see that we are around 11,400 level. And you can see this upper line coming down. And now we are going to try to break this upper line, then retest this upper line before we go up again to 12,500. So this is the short term. Short term, breaking this downward trend line, 
breaking it, retesting it and going up again to 12,500 or even higher. And then there is another very bullish sign in the industry because take a look at this chart. Bam! This chart presented by us by Glassnode. I found it on a tweet from MM Crypto. So a shout out to MM Crypto. Thank you, Chris, for sharing this chart. Also, thank you, Chris, for mentioning and doing a shout out to me in your videos about zooming out in crypto and zooming in at life. Thanks, man. I loved the shout out. And now I'm giving this shout out back to you because I love this tweet where you showed us that we have now in a day seen the US dollar teeter on exchanges increased with 1 billion US dollar. We were around 750 million dollar yesterday. There are now 1.7 billion US dollar teeters on the exchanges. So there is a spike in teeter to exchanges. What do you think this means? Look to the left on the chart. What happened every time when you saw more US dollar teeter on these exchanges? you saw the Bitcoin price going up. Look to the left. Every time this amount of US dollar teeter on the exchanges, the price of Bitcoin is following. Now, in the last 24 hours, we saw 1 billion US dollar teeter more on the exchanges. Something is going to happen. This chart is telling me that something is soon about to happen. Is it going to be a push Bitcoin upwards or is it going to be a push Bitcoin downwards? Nobody knows, but I am a believer that we are going to push Bitcoin up from here. And then we have another very cool macroeconomic chart that is this one, bam. Yes, I'm walking in the same circle because I don't want to disturb the rest of the family. But in this macroeconomical chart, you can see the volatility of Bitcoin versus the volatility of gold. Bitcoin at the moment is less volatile than gold. This is what you can see. The yellow line is Bitcoin. The white line is much more volatile than the Bitcoin price. The last time we saw this gap appearing, the Bitcoin crossing this white line, the yellow line crossing this white line. Now you see this gap appearing. The last time we saw this happening was just up front of the bull run in 2017. Look to the left on the chart. Look to the left where you can see this circle. Inside this red circle, when you look very closely, you can see that the yellow line crossed over this white line and this gap created. It was closed again after, but when it was closed, both lines went up into the bull run so this could happen now again so also a real cool chart that is indicating that we can see the bull run in the next couple of months year that was all the information for today guys i will keep the video short as it is saturday and i just did a huge hike into a mountain so i'm a little bit tired i need some siesta here in spain i'm going to sleep for an hour yes i'm an old guy 42 years old <laughs> but I really enjoyed the hike up the mountain. It was beautiful. Again, thank you, Bobby, for taking me up there. Bobby did a great job in showing me the path. He's a good guide and a good buddy to talk with. We had a lot of conversations while climbing this mountain. Hope you enjoyed the views. If you did enjoy this video and these views from the top of the mountain, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your communities, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment because I love to reply to your comments. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys tomorrow again. Bye!